Hi, welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. Guess what? I figured out how to do aquarium press-ons and I'm going to show you. So first you need um, two sizes of nails. So we are doing this on long. I'm using the natural long stiletto from a prey um, and then I prepped it with Young Nails Protein Bond and now I'm coming in with Madame Glam's uh, one of their new polishes which is Beautiful Chaos and this is a really really gorgeous color but you do have to put down like four coats in order to um, to get this color this is four coats um, so now we're coming in with a matte top coat because we're going to be adhering another nail on top and um, instead of putting down a clear and then buffing it I'm just going to put down a matte top coat and then I'm going to be adhering a sculpted nail a medium size sculpted nail because they have more of an apex and they're a lot more rounded, um, which gives you more of a well to fill for the aquarium nail. I am using Bio Seaweed Gels Builder X to adhere the other nail on top. Um, first, I am just going to adhere it at the tip though. Um, this makes it easier so that the nail isn't sliding around on you as you put gel on the sides of the nail. So I'm first just going to put a bit down at the tip and then I cured that. And now I'm coming in with some more Builder X and we are going to seal both sides of this nail completely because we are going to be filling this nail with a liquid and we do not want that liquid to leak out at all. So I should add to, um, I did file the edge of the nail that I put on top to make sure it had um, a, rough, a rough edge to adhere. I didn't show that here, um, but I did file that nail. And um, then I came in with the Builder X. So now we're doing the other side. And this is a self-leveling gel, so I'm pretty much just getting it on the nail and then it starts to self-level itself out as it sits. Then I cured that for a full minute and now we are going to fill the nail with our glitter. I decided to use these star shape um, glitters these are just from the dollar store they are not a cosmetic grade glitter so they are good to fill a aquarium nail with and then i am also coming in with this iridescent glitter which just looks absolutely gorgeous once um, you fill the nail and it floats in the liquid um, so when you are doing these nails i do suggest putting in um, multiple glitters two to three um, I chose to just do the stars and the iridescent glitter this time. And once you have them filled, um, you're going to want to close off the gap a little bit more um, before you fill it with the liquid because we don't want that liquid to be spilling out all over the place. And you do, I mean, you just want a good area so that you can fill it up as much as you can because you don't want too large of a bubble um, in your nail. So we're just going to close it off a little bit more, not completely. We're still going to leave a hole so that we can fill the nail with our liquid. And the liquid we are using is baby oil. Um, I like to use baby oil because number one, it is not water and um, it's clear. It's a lot of other oils have like a yellow tint to it, which let's face it, we, you know, yellow in nails just don't typically look nice, especially a yellow liquid in your nail. Um, so I like to use baby oil. This Johnson one though, 
is a little bit thick, I should add. Um, next time I might purchase maybe like a no-name one that might be a little bit um, thinner in consistency. Um, and I am using a, a syringe. I picked it up from the pharmacy. Um, I did feel weird asking to buy a syringe. But they just work perfectly because you can get into the tiniest spot and fill it with the most amount of liquid as you can. And as you can see here, a lot was leaking out on me. Um, so if that happens, you just need to wipe it away with some isopropyl alcohol before you seal the nail because um, that alcohol, or sorry, that oil will um, affect your gel from adhering. So if you do get oil all over the place like I did, um, just wipe that off with alcohol and then you are good to go to seal it in with your builder gel and then make sure you cure that fully. And then now I'm coming in with a base coat over the entire nail. Um, this is because that nail that we stuck on top, um, it's just a bare nail, remember that? So, and I didn't um, prep it or anything, so we now kind of need to prep and prime that nail before we seal it. So we're sealing everything with a base coat, curing that, and then now I'm coming in with a no wipe top coat, and I am being very, very generous with both um, both the base and this top coat. I am putting down a pretty, pretty thick layer of these just to make sure that all the gaps um, and bubbles and anything that's not flat gets filled in. And we are also going to be buffing to make sure it's completely smooth and then we're coming in with our absolute favorite no wipe top coat, which is Ugly Ducklings No Wipe. And that's pretty much it. It's, um, it is a tedious nail, I'm going to say, but I do like doing it this way because um, it's not very bulky at the cuticle at all. When I got a request to do these aquarium nails, um, I was really, really scared that they were just going to be way too bulky at the cuticle, but adding a medium sized nail because it's so much shorter, um, it closed it off a lot further down and I think, I think they turned out great. So that's the nail. Like and subscribe guys if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.